guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. But if you are new, then hi, hi, my name is Kavita, but you can call me Kavi. So my number one resolution this year is better organization and planning. So and I, and I know a lot of you guys have, that is really important to you too. So I decided to do this video on how I do my planning and organization. So if you want to see it, let's go. I'm regular scissors. I have a stapler here. I have a smaller one. And I have a lot of washi tape and sticky notes that is something that I definitely live on for planning and glue and regular transparent tape. Now you don't have to go crazy for a lot of planning supplies, just use what you already have. The next thing for planning is pens. So I love a lot of colourful pens because I love a lot of colour in my planner. It definitely motivates me to plan. So this is my regular notebook. This is how the front looks. It is the brand Trapper Keeper and I love this regular pattern. I thought it was really nice. I put some washi tape at the edge so that the edges wouldn't fray because I didn't have contact paper. Then I added this little thing here with my pen. I actually stuck it. I hot glued it. And I like this. You could actually attach it into your binder. So on the inside I have some post-it notes here. Regular sticky notes some washi tape here and my favorite quote right now Harry Potter fan yes and I stuck it onto some gift paper because this was a really pretty gift paper over here I have my index which is like the table of contents so I have all of the titles of the page and then the page numbers and everything like that on this page here I have the key and these are all the symbols that I use with everyday day-to-day -day planning. So there I actually have my 2017 calendar. And I liked sticking it with the washi tape like this because I like that effect. So I did that. So here now I have all of my monthly things. So for each month I have the month on this side. And I have important dates on this side. So for January... I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to write my month layout yet. So I have from day 1 to the, to, 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 to the last day. Then I have these here which is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. And then I would put the days that I have appointments or the important days or anything else like that. And then I chose to decorate. January is my birthday month. So I chose to decorate it like this. But basically... You could last year I did this January layout this like this and I didn't really like it because I didn't use it much so this year I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it that's why for February I tried to do it like this where I would just have all the dates and circle the important dates and over here I would write it down so February <laughs> So most, most of these lists were the same as my 2016 bullet journaling and these are just to give you some ideas of some lists that you could put in your bullet journaling. So I have the same to buy movies to watch because I watch a million and one trailers and then when I'm ready to see a movie I literally could never remember what movie it is I have to see so this definitely helps me. Personal care, just some things that I need to do. Destinations. This is like inspire me and motivate me to just keep pushing and saving towards the things that I want to do. Jewelry planning. So lately I've been really into making handmade jewelry so I decided to make this so that I would like keep track of the type of jewelry that I'm making and the cost and everything. I really want to try a healthy lifestyle in 2017 so I have a little fitness journal. I literally only have one page for this and um, what I decided to do was I would put the date when I worked out um, how long and whatever it is I did and then I would put how I felt after that workout I only did it for one page because it's just something that I'm trying and I would actually definitely be I would add more pages when I want when I work out more but I just wanted to use one page just to like it's like a tester to see how I would really use this I have here 
goals and steps so this is my goals page where i would write down everything that i really need to accomplish i actually got this idea from another youtuber um so what you do is basically i put sticky notes onto your goals you actually don't have to put sticky notes of your goals here but this most important part for putting using sticky notes is the steps so that when you do accomplish different steps you could remove the sticky notes and just stick it back on when you have new steps to that come closer to accomplishing your goal and when you finish completing the goal you could just rip it off or put a tick by it and i just really like that here i decided to put an envelope i stuck it on with tape because i need a little bit of extra pocket here to put something then i have here my daily logs where i put my everyday planning yes yeah, a little bit of a harry potter in a harry potter face right now have a little quote here love that quote if you like harry potter so you could probably give the video a little thumbs up <laughs> again i use bullet journaling because i i use bullet journaling because i do not do everyday day-to-day -day planning because sometimes i do things on a day and i just don't write it down or so i have a lot of chill days <laughs> so i separated my entire page into four that's works that is working for me right now and then i would decorate it however i felt like feel like decorating it maybe there's an occasion on one of the days like during the week and that's how i would do that accordingly so these four days on one page is really working for me right now but when i go back out to school depending on how much things i have to do for the day i would actually put instead of four maybe i would use six if i have less things to do and if i have more things to do because i literally write everything that i have to do when i go to school i write all my homework and everything inside of this so i would put maybe i would use one whole thing like this a whole half of the page for one day same as the bottom and that just helped me and what i do for some days is that at the bottom every here i would put a quote of the day just to help motivate me to do different things you know things like that. and here what i'm going to try is actually at the top i'm not sure if i want to believe this at the top top here or maybe at the bottom of the page like when i'm going to try this new layout but i'm going to put goals that i need to accomplish for the week so it would be really really simple things that i will be able to get done it within that week and then I would have my goals and then I would have my little tick boxes. Things that doesn't require much steps so that I could instantly do those things and tick it off. Trust me, at the end of the year, when you look at your plan and you see all these things being accomplished, you would see that you have made progress this year. And the last thing that I made was this little bookmark. I used a piece of ribbon, used some washi tape, and this is a tassel it's probably not all that i really want to make a new one like a bigger one but this works for now and i attach it attach it on in the back of Roll it up. so tip time the quote that i like to live up to is a champion is at his best when pressure is at its greatest so when things are really really tough just think of yourself as that champion so that you could be the toughest when things are the toughest well thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment below you can subscribe right up there you can watch my previous video on this side and you can watch a video just for you on this side so bye